Hi, and welcome to my latest video on a pen review. So this Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with an EF nib has been with me since the beginning of 2019. And in this one year review, I will tell you the story of how I acquired this pen back in January of last year. Its features, why it stays in the collection, some pet peeves of mine and thoughts, and finally, some beauty shots to end the video. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Ung, and I've been making pen videos for some time now. And if you like what you see here, please consider subscribing and click the notification button so that YouTube can notify you of future videos and content. I have some few pens that I like and I would like to feature them from time to time. So if you have some topics you would like me to cover around pens, papers, and other related stuff, I could gladly make it into a writing video. So how I acquired this pen? So basically, long story short, I have a favorite stationery store here in Ho Chi Minh City and it was the first Pilot Custom Heritage 912 they brought into Vietnam by the wonderful people at typos.com. I bought it to finally fill the gap of having an EF gold nib in my fountain pen collection and during the buying process uh, what sold me on it was actually the single hairline that it produces. Uh, the most similar and thin hairline to a dip pen nib. Well, uh, stock nib options on fountain pens, of course. Since trying to get a needlepoint grind from a good nibmeister here in Vietnam, it's pretty much nearly impossible to achieve. And day by day, I found myself reaching for this particular pen more often than not, even more so than the Pilot Custom A23 and my other pens. And I find myself using only either Pilot Black or Blue Black for this particular pen. And if I have to describe this 912 as a person, it will be that quiet security guard or butler that will be always be there for you, follow your commands, does it well and then falls back to his position and pleases you every time you decided to call upon him. It's not going to be the most exciting thing to play around but it shall be the most trusted pen that I take out for a practice session due to the honesty and clean cut lines it produces, no thrilling shadings or line variations, just a single hairline to tell me where I should focus on my practice. And for that, thank you for all those hours following me drawing ovals and straight lines in practice paper. Thank you, my pilot. If you have a chance to pick up and handle this particular model of pilot, the Custom 912, it's actually not a very exciting pen. It's had two flat parts at the beginning and the end of the pen and what are you going to actually do with a nib that is so fine it's not so interesting barrel design uh, writes like a 0 0.3 mechanical pencil a stip nib uh, that's quite a stip nib for 14k gold nib and a decent ink capacity with a con 70 installed the answer would be hours sitting down, drawing circles, straight lines, and it's so simple, the design is so elegant, and it will not distract you from whatever tasks that you're going to do. This isn't a pen that would be picked up for short notes, nor for a few random pages on a topic. This is the kind of pen that I would spend hours with drawing ovals just to numb my brain from the usual stress after a long teaching day. This will be the pen that is picked up 
whenever I have a lot going on in my head and just want to unload the content onto paper without any kind of structural content or not even grammar <laughs> just to find myself cringing at the thoughts of having written those lines onto paper in the first place. I lost count of how many pages written with this pen, but whenever I decided to look back into the archive and seeing those honest, no thrill, clean cut hairlines, I could totally recall how I was feeling that particular moment and understand myself better on why I wrote the things I wrote. And before you know it, this tiny piece of review has been over two pages long and I really have to try hard and film enough footage for it. So aside from the occasional paper fiber getting stuck between the tines of the nib, pretty much this pen is spotless for an extra fine nib. And when you have decided to go into that area of extra extra fine you usually should know what you are getting into so the nib is not gonna be the smoothest it's gonna show a lot of feedback whenever you write however I know what I got into I got into hundreds of hours drawing circles writing unorganized thoughts and lines at the lines of what my students referred to as undecipherable adult codes. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you'd like to see some of your favorite quotes written by some of my fountain pen, please comment down below or send me a DM on YouTube or Instagram, and I'll be gladly feature them in the future content. Thank you for watching, and See you next time.